If you're having a hard time seeing the big picture and you're overthinking, if you're actually doing the right thing, I have a great motivational message for you guys today, all right? I need you to stay tuned, take notes if you have to, and take this as your confirmation. But you already know the deal. First, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already done, guys. It is already yours. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are continuing to have a blessed week, continuing to push that needle forward, and don't forget, guys, to keep on keeping on no matter what you're dealing with and what you're going through right now in your lives, okay? Now listen, man, I have a quick motivational and a confirmational message for you guys today, all right? Because some of you guys are probably most of you, all right? Many of you out there, all right? You're working on something, you're working on your craft, you're being obedient, you're staying on this path, you're not giving up, which is very, very vital, and you're doing what you're supposed to do. Even if you don't know exactly what it is yet, even if you don't feel or know exactly what your purpose is yet, all right, trust and believe you are being led to it. You didn't go through your awakening. You didn't go through this journey for no reason. You didn't lose people for no reason. You didn't go through the shedding of your skin, the old version of you, right, for no reason. Now, if you're having a very hard time seeing the big picture, all right, maybe God tasked you with something. He gave you a dream. He gave you a vision. All right, it was something there that you were told to do and you're having a hard time see the big picture. You're having a hard time actually reaching it because you're overthinking, you're overanalyzing and you don't even know if it's for you anymore. All right, you're starting to question the path that you're on. You're starting to question, am I even doing the right thing? What if I go down this path and it's the wrong path? I'm not doing actually what I'm supposed to do. All right, listen, I want you to remember that great things take time right? Whew, someone, please write that down. Write it down below in the comments. Confirm it with yourselves. Great things take time. Your path is not going to be easy, chosen ones, right? The path is not going to be easy. God did not say this life was going to be easy. It is going to be difficult, especially if you're going down the path of righteousness, especially if you're living for God and his word, and you're not going down that dark demonic path. Because if you do, things are going to be a bit easy, it's going to be a, it's going to be really easy for you to acquire that 50 million dollars because you want to be a part of that secret society. You see what I'm saying? But when you go down a different path to obtain what you are supposed to obtain to receive the blessing that you are supposed to receive, it's going to take a lot longer because great things take time. If you were tasked to do something, if you're tasked with getting something done, which is helping humanity, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in a week. It's not gonna happen in a year or two. Well, for some people it could, right? For some people, they could have a transformation in their business immediately simply because it's supposed to happen in divine timing. But it probably took them a long time from that point to actually get there. They had to do a lot of inner work in order to get there. You see, if you guys wanna become the greatest version of yourselves, it's not a bit just about changing your outer appearance. You have to change within. You have to change who you are. You have to become a better version of yourselves on the inside, all right? And whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're working on, it's gonna take time, guys, and you don't need to overthink or beat yourselves up over it every single time you come across an issue, every single time it looks like nothing is working in your favor. Remember, these challenges, these setbacks, these things are happening for you. I didn't notice I didn't say to you, all right? These things are happening for you, all right? For a reason, okay? Because maybe there's something over there that you do need to analyze, that you do need to figure it out, that you are being tested on to see how bad you truly want it. You see, some people will go through a series of tests and they'll just throw in the white towel and say, you know what, man, forget this. I'm just gonna go back and do what I was doing before because this is too challenging for me. I, it's too hard. I don't think I have the mental capacity. I don't think I have what it takes to get it done. And you see, that's why most people never live their dreams. Most people never do what they truly, truly love to do or what they want to do. If God has placed a talent within you, has placed something on your heart that you love to do, Family, when you tap into that and when you do it, it's gonna open so many doors and opportunities and experiences for you that you never thought possible, but people don't tap into it, 
right? People don't even think about that. They don't even do it because they're so controlled by this matrix system. They're so controlled by, in order to live your life, you have to work a nine to five job and only do this and only do that. When there's so many things that you can do that God has blessed you with talent wise, passion wise, in order for you to get there, all right? And this is my message for you guys today, man. This is the confirmation that I need to give you. Great things take time, man. Stop giving up on yourselves, all right? And I had to tell myself this. I had to tell myself this because I questioned what I was doing at first. After about a year and a half, I was like, man, am I even even doing the right thing? Am I even supposed to be going down this path? Am I supposed to be doing this? You see, if I would have lived in that negative thought, if I would have allowed for that negative circumstance to conquer me, family, where would I be today? Certainly not right here. I probably would have quit. I would have gave up. I would have just said, this isn't for me. I'm not going to do it because it's too challenging. You see, when something is extremely challenging for you and it's really, really hard and you can't figure it out. Let's say you fail one time, but you go back at it. You fail again, but you go back at it. You fail again, but you go back at it. And you just go through this repeated cycle of failing and trying and failing and trying and failing and trying. But before you know it, everything clicks. You know, it's just that one more time that you had to do where everything finally clicks and it finally unlocks the next level. You finally get there and you're questioning. Well, and you're probably looking back on everything and saying, man, look what I had to go through. Look what I had to grow through. Look what I had to do in order to get to where I'm at today. Man, that took years. It took decades. It took a long time, but it was absolutely worth it because great things take time. They say that it takes about two to three years for a business to start making profit. And family, that's that's a that's a long time frame for some people. Some people want to see their profits after day one, after the first week. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way. Great things take time. All right. And I want you guys to take this into consideration. I want you guys to remember this because whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now, whatever you've been tasked to do, whatever you, you know what I'm saying? You're staying obedient. You're doing what God called you to do and you're marching towards it. Don't think it's going to happen fast. All right. And I want you to expect the challenges. I'm here. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for you. We're going to be completely transparent. Expect challenges. Expect the setbacks. Expect for people to tell you no. Expect for people to make fun of you. Expect for nobody to support you, especially if they are close to you, family, friends, anything like that. All of these things can contribute to you quitting simply because it's not there. You don't have it around you, right? It's your drive. It's your consistency, it's your determination, and it's your willpower to march through and continue to push through anything that's thrown on your path that you're going to get it done. And simply because you're gonna do that and simply because you have the power and the strength to do that is when you're gonna see doors open for you, all right? So I need you guys to remember this, take it as your confirmation. Some of you guys might be questioning yourselves right now. You might be wondering and asking, am I actually going in the right direction? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Why is it taking so long for me to get clients, Coach Kev? Why is it taking me so long to get one person to, to, to reach out to me, to get one person to actually want to, to see the value in what I have to offer, all right? I don't care if you post something on social media every single day, or if you're, you're marketing your business or you're marketing yourself, whatever it is that you're trying to do, all right, and nobody sees it, it doesn't matter. Continue to keep putting it out there. If you don't get one like, if you don't get one follow, if you don't get anything like that, don't worry about those little analytic numbers, family, right now. Continue to keep doing it. Continue to keep doing it because eventually things are going to stick. Things are going to happen. Things are going to start shaping and molding and going in the direction that you want to see it go. All right. But it, you just have to remember that great things take time. All right. And it's not a time for you to quit. It's not a time for you to throw in the towel. Keep marching. All right. And then one last piece that I wanted to give you before we close out on this video, if you are thinking about quitting, all right, whoo, come on, because somebody's thinking about quitting. All right. Tell me down below. Somebody, please tell me, drop those comments down below. Just say, Coach Kev, you're right. I have been thinking about quitting. Write that down below. Coach Kev, you're right. I have been thinking about quitting because this is my message for you right now. The moment that you think about quitting, the moment that you decide to go and actually pick up that white towel and it's in your mind, it's engraved in your mind that you're going to quit, all right, it 
if you don't quit, if you don't do it, the very next time that you go to take on that task again or to go to try it, whatever it is again, is the moment you're gonna receive the breakthrough. Whoo! I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm trying to tell you guys because when you get to that point of exhaustion, when you get to that point of just saying, you know what, I've done everything that I could. You know, I, there's, I have no other options. I, I've done everything. I could either quit or I could either put it in God's hands. And a lot of people just quit and just decide, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna forget about it. I'm not even gonna try anymore. So let me just throw in the towel. But on that moment that you decide to say, you know what, God, I'm just gonna give it to you. I'm just gonna give it to you and I'm just gonna sit back and let go is the moment the break through comes. Great things take time, family. And many of you guys are working on some amazing things out there. And because it's going to take some time and because you're simply great people, you wear your heart on your sleeve, you're always willing to help someone else. Whatever craft, whatever business you're growing, whatever it is that you're doing, all right, allow it to take time. Just continue to keep watering it over and over and over and over and over again. Put in the time, put in the effort, put in the energy, put in the resources, fund your own business, fund that project, do what you have to do and watch how the doors are gonna open for you guys. So I don't know who needed to hear this message today, but I hope it resonated with you guys. If it did, you already know the deal. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here. I love you guys to life, man. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys have a great week. Continue to be the best version of yourselves, man, all right? Just keep working on yourselves day in and day out and do not quit, family, okay? And listen, if you guys wanna talk, head on over to the website. It's gonna pop up on your screen, www.speakitseeitfeelit.com. I would love to have a conversation with you guys, man, if you wanna have a guidance and advice session or if you're looking for an ongoing life coach, if you need somebody to talk to on a more consistent basis, reach on out to me, family, all right? And listen, guys, also, as we're getting closer, it's the holiday season, okay? If you guys are looking for some amazing gear, some good motivational gear to get your family members, your friends, or anything like that, man, right now, today, we have 20% going off of everything in the Speak and See It Feel It merch shop. So you guys, make sure to go and check that out. It's running from today up until uh, the 19th, I believe, of November, guys, okay? So you guys keep being the best version of yourselves. Make sure your bell notifications is on for more videos to come. And until then, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Peace.